What's up, guys? Let's talk some XRP. Okay, let's talk some XRP Ripple because right now altcoins are getting kind of trashed right now in the market. We see a lot of news uh, within what's going on with Mt. Gox within Bitcoin, uh, but we're going to take a, a quick look at the charts, look at what everything's doing in the market, and then I'm going to tell you guys why um, and what is going to happen to XRP as we are getting hit by this, um, this slump, if you will, as we've pretty much given back all the gains that we've had over the last... Uh, 15 months or so, uh, XRP has hit a low of 40 cents uh, early on here on Friday, um, extending its loss by 7% down to 38 cents on this Friday. So uh, historically, the 4th of July weekend has always been kind of a selling um, selling event for Dogecoin, or I'm sorry, not for Dogecoin, but for a lot of cryptos. So uh, it's more of a broader market correction. And let's get into some of the news and headlines. But first, I do want to show you guys the charts. Um, but before we do, make sure you remember, not financial advice, subscribe down below and smash that like button, okay? Uh, but this is the crypto bubbles, and you can see kind of all the red in the market. A couple meme coins are up, bonk, dog with hat, uh, so on and so forth. But as we look into kind of what's going on with XRP, seventh in total market cap, you can see right here, 42 cents. We've since rebounded a little bit, getting as low as 39, but as high as 44 on the day. Um, still, though, these are red numbers that we're concerned with. 4.4% down on the day, 10.9% on the week, and almost 20% down on the month, and a touch below 10% on the year for XRP. So um, this is kind of what's happening, okay? Um, it kind of accumulated the losses, right? We know what's happened with Mt. Gox, the payment back to creditors. Uh, that's created a lot of uncertainty in the market, increasing some of the selling pressure of Bitcoin and altcoins, meme coins, everything in the market's down. Uh, and this is something where despite being in this courtroom uh, within Ripple and SEC. Uh, this is where you're seeing a lot of um, you know, precedent coming into the equation. But I tell you guys in every one of my XRP videos that the main thing that going on right now that we need to focus on is getting out of that courtroom, right? Getting out of that courtroom, uh, kind of using that as a, a tailwind to kind of support the narrative that, hey, uh, XRP has not seen a bull run without any kind of shadow on them, right? They've been kind of drugged through the mud. Uh, I think the price is being suppressed because of that. And I think once we get out from the courthouse, I think that's when XRP will really continue uh, to kind of spread its wings and possibly uh, see some uh, very influential movement within the chart. So um, kind of some of the um, more headlines, right? Like I said, the last 15 months, we've erased those gains. Uh, we hit as low as 38 cents, but now uh, we're at that 39, 40 cents level. Okay, the, the developments within that court case, um, Judge Torres is ruling, um, you know, that is being further reiterated. It's kind of being used as precedent. Um, that's kind of something where it has been known as a partial victory, but now it has been strengthened by Judge Jackson using as precedent in the SEC lawsuit against Binance. That's always a good thing to hear. OK, but now uh, when we look in this data from sentiment, Ripple traders have been shedding a lot of their holders at a loss. So people have been selling out of XRP. A lot of that is just capital reshuffling, right? People want to get into crypto that is moving, uh, the kind of the more money movers right now. Uh, and XRP has been fairly stable. So um, that's something to keep an eye on for the future as well. But like I said, XRP is down more. Uh, we have seen this chart. I mean, look at the TA. We're down below moving averages, uh, trading at sub 40 cents levels. Um, you know, that's kind of the, the big thing really that kind of supports the bearish case. Uh, if we get back up to 46 cents, we can start wicking up and you can see kind of this consolidation that we've been on. So I do think that Ripple and XRP will see uh, another 46 cents case, if not higher. I think that uh, we're failing to bust through 53 cents. That's that resistance line uh, that you can see there right on the chart. But for us guys, um, I do think that this red that we're seeing from the sell-offs coming from Mt. Gox, I think that's going to be a transient event. Just my two cents, not financial advice, but I wanted to share with you guys what XRP is doing on the day. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we do talk XRP every single day on the channel. If you guys want to do me a solid, uh, make sure you guys all subscribe down below. Uh, also, if you want to help out the channel, um, I do get a little bit of a, a affiliate commission. If you do sign up with Margex, if you want to start trading on leverage, use my link down below to register and claim up to $10,000 in bonuses and get started trading today. Make sure Margex is right for you. So it's important to do all your due diligence and homework because uh, trading on leverage is very, very volatile and risky. So thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe on your way out. Like I said, we'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.